Now, I'm going to use a couple of other nodes to create a more interesting effect, and that is a dissolve. And this is going to use the power of a lot of the built-in nodes and combine them to get a very interesting, unique result. And the first node that I'm going to use is a noise. So notice here that we have two types of noise, both gradient and simple. And I'm just going to create a simple noise. And what you can see here is that the simple noise node will generate a noise um, pattern. And so this is generated, this is not an actual texture. And you notice here we have an input where you can set the scale and the UV. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a noise, kind of a noise map um, ranging between black and white. And we're going to use this to clip our spider robot by outputting into this alpha clip threshold channel here. And the way this is going to work is the white value is going to represent kind of like a, let's say the number one, and the black value is going to represent the value zero. And all the values in between black and white are basically going to be the alpha clip uh, settings. So we have this noise uh, node here. Now this is going to be a bit too fuzzy. We're going to have some areas which aren't going to look so um, clean. And we want to dissolve the uh, spider robot with kind of a very hard edge. So I can actually output the noise and use a step node. So input it into the step node here. And you notice that when we ha use the output, you get all the different inputs here and can instantly set them up. And if I change the step node's edge value, you'll notice that it's then taking this noise pattern and it's returning it as true or false. So here we have this darker area in the bottom left-hand corner, the bottom right corner, and the top right. And then as I change this edge value, so let's set this to here, it's going to correspond with it's basically returning the noise value is either entirely white or entirely black. So we're getting this nice kind of dissolve um, effect. This is kind of quite a common effect used in uh, games that have some kind of special effects or power-ups or abilities. Now, some of you have probably never used noise before and never used the step function. So you're probably thinking I'm uh, just uh, doing things I already know, which is kind of true. But if you really want to know what each of the different nodes do, because there's quite a few nodes built into Shadograph, you can actually right click any of the nodes. In this case, I'm going to right click the step node. And you'll notice that the nodes actually have a link directly to open their documentation page. So if I right click the step node, select open documentation, what you'll notice is it will go directly to the Shadergraph repository on uh, GitHub. It'll have a description of what the node does. So in this case, step node returns one at the value of input is greater than or equal to the edge, otherwise returns zero. So it returns a one white or zero, which is black. It has the inputs and outputs, and it even shows the code that's uh, taking place behind the scenes. This is the shader function code for those people who are technical artists or developers who want to see what the actual node is doing behind the scenes. So if we go back to our graph, we then have this stepped effect between um, white and black. And you'll notice here that as I change the values on the nodes, then all the corresponding nodes also have their previews update. So as I increase the noise scale and change this, we can then see this dissolve effect take place. So now that I've got these two nodes here, what I can then do is I can then output this into the alpha clip threshold which isn't going to set a transparency, which is what alpha would do, but instead it would cut it out, kind of like a mask. And currently the alpha is set at a value 1, so you have to set it to 0 0.5. That's just the standard thing to do. And you'll notice that as I change this step uh, value here, our spider robot is actually dissolving. Now what you might notice is it's dissolving from the front, so we're not actually seeing the inside of the spider robot being dissolved. But if you click this two-sided option, we now have the inside of the spider robot. So it's basically uh, revealing the insides of the robot as it's dissolving. Now, I have these two settings, such as the dissolve amount and the noise. So I'm going to go back to the blackboard and create the properties that are exposed to the editor. So then we can either animate these or script these or tweak these in the context of our scene. So we have a dissolve amount. And 
also a noise scale. I'm going to set this to uh, let's say 0.5, so it's half dissolved, and set the scale to something like uh, 10. And it's as simple as dragging the properties in, hooking them into the slots, and then seeing the results. So if I now save this graph and go back to the scene, we've got our spider robot. Can click play, and we have the spider robot sort of uh, looking around and animating. Um, I can then set this dissolve amount. So you notice here that as the dissolve value is uh, zero, then it's entirely dissolved, except for this, uh, the shadow is still rendered. Um, I think that's being fixed in a future release of uh, uh, shader graph. And as I increase the dissolve amount, you'll notice that the spider robot will then be not as dissolved. So you notice here we have this pretty cool dissolve in and out effect. If I go to my scene view and increase the noise scale, so let's increase the noise scale to something like 200. The spider robot is now dissolved by a uh, greater sort of noise area, and you can see that the two-sided effect is actually taking place. So we can actually kind of see through the spider robot. So if I set this to like five, actually let's set this to 20. You can actually see the inside of the spider robot as it's slightly masked. And we can actually fly the camera inside. So this is just an example of a quite a basic effect that you can create using this uh, node-based system um, without writing a single line of code.